guys, Shadow here. Welcome back to another Gears of War video. Today, we're going to be discussing the Unreal Engine 5 demo, the Xbox and Bethesda event. So, no Gears of War E3 2021. A few months ago, the Croatian announced that the studio was moving towards next gen development alongside the reveal of working on multiple future projects in the next iteration of Unreal Engine 5. Recently, Epic Games revealed the release of Unreal Engine 5 being available right now in early access, as well as an all new look at the UE5 tech demo project titled Valley of the Ancient, depicting and showcasing all of the amazing new Tekken features that will be powering future Gears of War games. Unreal Engine 5 is the next major evolution of Unreal Engine, redesigned and enhanced for the next generation of games, real time visualizations, and immersive interactive experiences. UE5 will empower game developers across the world, like the masters of Unreal over the Croatian studio, to creators across all industries with greater freedom, fidelity and flexibility than ever before. Next up, Microsoft have officially confirmed its upcoming E3 2021 showcase will be taking place tomorrow on June 13th by tweeting out the following. Games, 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 world premieres, new titles on Xbox Game Pass, Save the date for the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase on June 13th tomorrow at 10am Pacific, 1pm Eastern and 6pm here in the UK, including an all new Xbox artwork image which looks to be focusing on spotlighting both the upcoming games Halo Infinite and Starfield. Xbox went on to further discuss their very own upcoming E3 Game Showcase tomorrow by posting in the official blog post by saying, We are thrilled to announce that the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase will stream on Sunday June 13th at 10am Pacific. The show will be focused on games from Xbox Game Studios, Bethesda, and many game creators from our partners around the world. You've told us how excited you are about welcoming Bethesda into the Xbox family, so I know you're going to be wanting a front row seat to the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase, a 90 minute show packed with everything that you want to know about the epic gaming lineup coming out of this partnership, the incredible games coming to Xbox this holiday, upcoming releases on Xbox Game Pass and more. Now when it comes to the Gears of War franchise, it's actually been a crazy 3 whole years ever since TC revealed the first ever Gears 5 trailer way back now at E3 2018. A lot of Xbox fans and casual gamers online are under the impressions that either Gears of War or maybe even the Croatian studio with a brand new IP will be making an appearance at E3 2021, which to set the expectations right now for you guys is definitely not the case. TC announced back in May alongside their reveal of moving on to next gen development with UE5 that TC will not be announcing any new projects or titles for quite some time. Even with this direct confirmation from the TC studio themselves, I've actually seen a few Gears fans talking and discussing here and there, maybe thinking that this is purely based on the announcement of Gear 6 and new Gears games being years off, and that just maybe, it just maybe, there's actually a chance for a reveal of a Gears of War 2 remastered or Marcus Phoenix collection, which again to set the expectations very clearly real right now isn't happening whatsoever. As TC Sarah, the community manager at the Croatian studio, did confirm this in a reply on Twitter by stating, With the shift to development in Unreal Engine 5, we're taking some time before announcing any new projects and will not be showcasing anything at E3 this year. Please make sure to leave me a comment down below telling me what you think. What is your guys' personal opinion on Gears of War missing out on E3 this year? Are there any other games out there that you're maybe interested in and looking out for? For me personally, Halo Infinite is going to be a very important game tomorrow for Xbox Game Studios. I'm actually hoping we get a massive dive in into the multiplayer gameplay reveal action, as I'll definitely be combat ready day one alongside Master Chief, ready for that Halo Infinite multiplayer later this year. Lastly, just before I end the video right here, I wanted to share with you guys a small channel update regarding video content here on the YouTube channel. As of course, Operation 8 is the final season for Gears 5 and then following that afterwards, it's going to be a very, very long, crucial journey till we even get to see a brand new Gears of War game ever again. You guys are probably wondering what am I going to be doing for YouTube content over the next few years or so and what type of content can you guys expect going forward into the foreseeable future. Gears of War for me personally will always be that gaming franchise that I will always absolutely adore and love and will forever be playing it to the very end you guys know the real deal brothers to the end. Once Gears 5 live content support does wrap up I really want to explore the Gears of War universe and lore in depth but do it in a content style format that's never really been done before or seen on YouTube so far. 
I think the Gears of War story is actually my most favourite thing about the entire franchise now. And I want to super dive into everything Gears in the universe regarding the story lore of the Croatian's Gears releases, such as the origins of the Locust and Queen at Mirror Explained, Gear 6 theories including the return of the surviving Locust, and First Minister Jin's plan readying the humans of Sarah for planetary warfare, so lastly, summarizing the entire Gears of War universe in full with dedicated video episodes to anything and everything, such as the story of Dominic Santiago. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I do think Halo Infinite is going to be a big release with the multiplayer of Infinite actually being free to play, a first for the Halo gaming franchise ever. I've always enjoyed and appreciated Halo's unique style of gameplay, and I think it would just be something new and fresh to enjoy, obviously alongside continuing our journey, our road ahead to Gears of War's future, with maybe a number one in the Gears 5 ranked leaderboards. I have lots and lots of plans for Gears of War content that I hope you guys will really enjoy going into the future. There is work to do and we've got a purpose right now to serve, so let's get it. I'm going to be live streaming the Xbox and Bethesda E3 2021 game showcase event tomorrow live on Twitch. So if you want to join me and the Shadow Knight crew in the Twitch chat to celebrate everything Xbox going forward, you're more than welcome to come in, hang out and join us for the E3 watch party. The link to my Twitch channel is down below in the description of every video. So there you have it guys, full details on the Unreal Engine 5 demo, the Xbox and Bethesda event, no Gears of War E3 2021. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it, subscribe if you want to thank you guys for watching and as always I shall see you in the next one.